Let's see. We're live. Yeah, we're good. Can you guys hear me? <sighs> Hopefully you can. Yeah, I can hear me, so you guys can hear me. Ah. Uh, refresh. Refresh if you need to. More est daddy-a. Quite right. Welcome back, dude. Welcome back. Uh, yes. Refresh. Refresh, More my friends. Cheese. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Absolutely. Stop hogging the mirror. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right. Um. I'm not gonna spend too long on character creation because I kind of want to explore this idea now. This idea. I don't know if this would ever work in a million years, but uh, I don't know. I feel like. I feel like it's worth a try, considering that Jenny McCree just basically uh, broke my game. Uh, let's see what we could do. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys are back. Can you guys hear me? Uh, something, something that says, something that says crazy, crazy old man. Yeah, comb over. Why like not? Why not? Yeah, I want more facial hair. Not a word. You can only do far however after completing unlikely Valentine. Wait, is that a thing? Can you not just like go to far harbor? I clean up pretty nice. Ooh, oh god. Ooh, can you not just go to far harbor? No, I mean I'm pretty sure you can just go to far harbor, right? Can't you? Uh. I want to do her color actually. How do you do her color again? Um, I want to do damage. I want to do damage right now. Let's do some damage. Let's do. You have such strong cheekbones. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I want to do the nose one as well. What's the nose one? Pretty sure you can just go to Nakano's house. Yeah, I think you can as well. Um. What do you think, Khan? Okay. Obviously handsome or handsomely roguish. And then I think we can do body. We can make him kinda kinda like that. Sure. Sure. I don't think so. At least you don't get the quest. Yeah, well I mean like you don't get the quest in Nuka World until you get to level thirty, but you can still go there anyway. Right, that's gonna do. <laughs> that was the most creative of characters, but it'll do. <laughs> Alright, so with this mod as soon as uh, Codsworth gives us the coffee, he will actually teleport us to the cryopod just after Kellogg uh, shoots our lady friend. So that's pretty good. The joy of mods! Skipping all the long, pointless things we've seen too many times before. Although saying that, this mod actually has broken on me once, so uh, hopefully that's not a thing. Like, once when I was testing this mod, when I went to grab the Pip-Boy by the skeleton hand, it actually <laughs> broke on me, sadly, and I couldn't continue, so... Yeah, that is a thing. That is a thing. Alright. Let's test this idea, then. Oh god, okay. This is not going to be a serious run yet. If we are going to do this run, then I feel like we're going to be doing a lot of stuff next week. But um, we'll try for now. Oh god, what would be a good explosives run? Uh, we're not going to be able to get the perception bobblehead, so we're going to need demo expert immediately. Lone Wanderer is going to be essential. Hey, what do you think of the creation club? Oh god. I have no opinions on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I don't know to be honest with you, dude. Uh, I try not to. I try to stay away from drama. Um, intelligence, science, I guess, is good for grenades. However, that's science too, and we're never gonna have the material to make them. So we'll just go look five. 
Um, I think Commando is like two, so if we do kind of get bored of the whole explosives only thing, we could go for rifles, so that's alright. Um, endurance? Rest in endurance? Is that a thing? Should we go with that? Is that a good build? Do we really need strength? We probably need a bit of strength, right? Two? What's that? What's that going to give us? So 75 carry capacity on a base survival character, and you get a point per. Well, you get 10 per point in strength, so that would be 95. Um. Yeah, that'll do, right? Are you going explosives? Yeah. We do have the special book, though. We could go 10 Endurance with the special book. I thought you'd save that for the race. Oh, this is separate from the race. This isn't permadeath. This is just... This is just to see if we could do level 1 uh, Far Harbor explosives only. Consider this a bit of a practice and a bit of a tease as well. I don't know if my stream will crash when I choose a name. It might. I'm hoping it doesn't. If it does... You guys feel free to leave, but hopefully, hopefully it doesn't. All right, fingers crossed. Am I here still? Uh, am I still here? Are we good? Boomer? Close! Splody Joe! <laughs> right. Am I still alive? Alright, good. I think I will fall asleep in any minute. Oh, God. Well, I mean, it is kind of late for you, so that's absolutely fine, dude. Uh, Alright, good. Yeah, yeah, good. Alright, we're good. Alright, good. That's good, because normally when I on, rename on, things in, oh, God! in, like, stream mode, it kind of crashes my stream. So, uh, yeah, that's actually pretty good. I'll find who did this. Alright, as this is explosives only, realistically, I should actually just not hit anything with punches. So, we'll try that, but if it gets too frustrating, then we'll, um, we'll, we'll, we'll punch everything. I can get out of here without actually, uh, actually hurting anything, though, so we'll try our best to do it. I'm not going to loot all of these rooms, though. I don't always loot all of these rooms. I, the main thing that I need to do is just get out of here. So, yeah, this room in here... Well, the next room, sorry, with the, the bottles. We're actually going to avoid that one. Because we want to get rid of this roach as soon as we possibly can. I mean, I suppose I could run in the... Yeah, okay, let's try. Let's try and do it. We'll try and get a few of these bottles. Try and keep this uh, rad roach from knocking us out. Try and trap it in here. We can get water from the next room. Uh, there's a couple of bottles on there that I'd like as well. Alright. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Alright. Play it nice and safe. Nice and safe. Alright, let's grab these. Oh, God. Okay. Alright, good. Yeah. I did this for... Um, McCracker Crumble with the melee only run, and I did it first time. Roaches? I actually find what it really hell? difficult to do this, though. <laughs> Mainly because these doors suck. Oh god. If we can get through this room, we'll be fine. Okay. Whew. Right, okay. Not too bad so far. The next few rooms are a nightmare, though. Those are the ones we're probably going to die on. Oh dear. It'd be nice to actually just get to Nuka World. If we can get to Nuka World, we can establish whether or not this would be possible. We can start buying explosives. We're going to need the gold bars from Sanctuary, definitely. That's going to be our main money generation. We're going to need the frag grenades from Far Harbor. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, we're going to need the frag grenades from Sanctuary. We're going to need... We're going to need the fat man. Well, we don't need the fat man, but we're going to get the fat man. But I can't level up until I get there. Alright, uh, let's see. What else can we do? What else can we do in here? 
but yeah, this is all going to be testing, really. This is more like a viability run right now. If we can start it off well, then we'll continue it. If we can't, then we won't. Alright, uh, let's see. It would be nice, though, because I did do the whole level 1 nuclear world thing. This run is a bit of a nightmare. Okay. Alright, good. This next one's a bit of a nightmare as well, because there's two in here. Or is there three? There might be a third, actually. Alright, let's get them all out here. Just in case there is a third, because I... Sometimes another one hits me. Alright, come in here. Come in here. Alright, one got out. Come in here, dude. Thank you. Alright. Okay. Now, I genuinely think another one will come out. <sighs> okay. That should be all of them. Nice. Ch thanks, man. I have done that before. I am quite well practiced at that. But it doesn't always go well. Nope, just two. Right, then we should be okay then. Sometimes when I've done this, I've locked those two in the doors, but another one's come out. Sometimes, I guess, I've locked them in, these, in this room on the left, and I've left that right door open. Maybe they come round or something? I don't know. But some weird things have happened when I've tried this. Uh, we can't actually take the Pip-Boy until we are out of danger, so we're just going to wait until we are nice and safe. Unfortunately, we have to do that. Okay, take the Pip-Boy. Thankfully, it didn't bug out on us this time. Sometimes when we have this mod installed, taking the Pip-Boy makes it break. So we will latch that onto our wrist, and we will see how our stats look. Again, normally when I make builds, it takes quite a while. We just did this one off the cuff, really, um, based off what we may or may not need. I mean, Demolition's Expert is going to be the main one in terms of like power. Sneak is going to be good. Lone Wonder is going to be good. HP 125, 95 in inventory is plenty for now. Um, Demo expert is unlocked, and we can get we can get solar powered. There is, hmm, it could be used. No, I mean, you can eventually heal. Heals your radiation damage. Well, see, the good thing is about having high endurance is that we can get a lot of the rad, uh, resistant kind of. Abilities such as solar powered, which heals radiation, aqua boy, which helps us swim a lot. Um, we could do that. We've got sneak on free, idiot savant as well, but we can't really use that yet. Lone wanderer. Yeah, we've got a lot going for us here. Alright, good. Good. Alright, let's get out of here. Boop. So, just like with McCracker Crumble in the level 1 Nuka World run, we want to try and stay at level 1 until we reach the Nakano residence. Um, I, in, I allowed myself to stay level 1 until I reached the Nuka World Transit in uh, the level 1 Nuka World run, which is not technically Nuka World, it's still in the Commonwealth, but I allowed that just in case I do kind of miscalculate my experience. Um, so... If I can reach the Nakano residence and still be level 1, going into level 2, I'll be happy with that. But yeah, we've basically got to try and avoid as many experience-giving things as we possibly can. While still getting a bit of experience, we've got to level up, we, we got to get a bit of experience, we want to get through level 1 a little bit. But as long as we don't level up, we'll be fine. Um, we don't want to take too many things with us. In um, in sanctuary, there's not too much that we want. Getting some armor would be nice, but I don't think there is any armor in sanctuary. <laughs> That'd be kind of dumb. Uh, I don't know. We'll have a quick scout around. The double gold bars will be important. We need that for set. We need those for selling. We need to be able to buy explosives. There are gun merchants. Explode. Well, 
merchant that will sell as explosives in Far Harbor itself. So we absolutely need that. The only other place that I'd want to visit that's kind of on the way is the robot junkyard. The robot junkyard has that fat man, it has that mini nuke, and that's going to be useful for us. Did you hear that crying? I don't know why, but with this mod, whenever I escape, a baby cries, and I'm not quite sure why. Alright, uh, okay, let's, uh, let's see what we can get around here. Radex, certainly useful. Antibiotics early on, very nice. Can get ourselves a bit of water with those water bottles. We can get ourselves right away silver tablespoon, dinner plate, not too useful for us now. One more place I like to check before we go is over here. We don't need the fan, but we do need 10 millimeter. Alright, good. And what are you, Crown? Sure, food's always nice. Right. So we want to get a little bit of experience, but not a lot of experience. So much so that we're actually going to fail the... Well, not not fail the Codsworth Charisma check. We're just not going to do it at all. Oh. Oh, Finn. Thank you. Oh, Finn just tipped £7.47. Cheers, dude. Oh, that's... That's so nice. Oh, I love you, man. You're amazing. Thank you for that. I'm going to be honest with you, Finn. I would say to my chat, can we get some hype in chat for Finn? But unfortunately, you're the only chatter now because I think Tice has fallen asleep. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry, man. But I love you. Thank you, man. That's so nice of you. 747 is a very strange amount. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thanks, dude. You're the best. You're the nuts, dude! You're the nuts. I was thinking of buying Cuphead, so I don't know, I might put it towards that. Or I might just put it towards the America Fund. I don't know. Either way, in a better place. you're amazing. Alright, Splody Joe. Ten US dollars. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. Yeah. Sean's. Yeah, the pound doesn't do very well nowadays. <laughs> but yeah, cheers, Ben. You're amazing. Uh, right, I feel matter. fine. Um, Finn, I like to put down all of my donations underneath the Twitch stream on my like little kind of Hall of Fame. Are you okay with me adding your donation to that? Uh, I, I, I have to ask everyone that donates, but um, if not, then I want to put the donation anyway, but I'll just put you as like anonymous or something. But let me know. Let me know, dude. Right, so, Consworth's gonna kill all these dudes for us, hopefully. Maybe? Oh, wait, no. It... Codsworth. Mr. Joe? Oh, oh Mr. Joe. Are, oh, no, he's just gonna get me things. Okay, Codsworth, right. Codsworth, buddy. I don't... I, have an idea. I need him to go kill everything. All right. Lead the way. Go Round kill everything. Go on, Codsworth. Now, thankfully, we don't get the experience for that, so that's great. So, we can't... No, this isn't our... Oh, no, this is our house. Of course it is. Right, you're special. Add it to the other one. Right, okay, cool. Wait, are, are you... Are you anonymous? <laughs> Again, you're, like, the only person here, so you can say... But you don't have to say if you don't want to. So, look is at five, agility is at three... So, I guess we just go endurance... Get that to 10. We don't want to use the, the cheat to kind of get 11. Yeah, you're anonymous? Alright, cool. I wanted to be respectful. I, I I had a feeling it was you, Finn, but I wanted to be respectful, you know? I, I, I kind of like to keep a track of things in terms of donations and whatnot, but I also like to kind of honor you guys for being crazy generous, so... Um, yeah, that's why I did that. Uh, right, let's see. Bloatfly gland. Oh, that's really unlucky. Two bloatfly glands. You can see what emails you get. Well, I mean, I saw your name, but I don't think I saw you as fantastic. Which is why I wasn't too sure. Which is why I just put you as JM, because uh, that was the initials that I saw on the email. Um, unless I was looking in the wrong place. <laughs> I don't know, though. <laughs> All right, hopefully we have some meat from this. We don't want to cook too much. We can leave cooking till later, till we actually get there. 
Um. All right. How you doing, Cardi? Hey, Codsworth. Mr. Joe. That's me. Right. Okay. Good. Good. Just so I know, man. Nice. All right. It's okay. Trying, Codsworth. You can't give up. It's okay, man. This run is now dedicated to you. <laughs> Splody Joe is here for you, man. This will actually be a pretty good kind of practice for explosives only because I've got to aim. I have to aim, unfortunately, until I get that aiming arc. Well, I, I have to aim with an aiming arc as well, but it's a lot easier to aim with an aiming arc. So, uh, yeah, it'll be good practice for that. I also need to remember where the safes are. I'm only really interested in the house of the safes. Because we don't want to, we can't really take too much with us. But the safes tend to have the most interesting things. Things like drugs, things like, uh, well, yeah, drugs and that kind of stuff, really. So, let's get, oh, I actually need to use the bench first, don't I? Oh, and the window, not the windows, the, uh, the mirrors. Yes, yeah, impact bobby pin. Nice. Uh, let's activate this first. I also have to remember that I think there's two rad roaches around here. I know what they are, but um, yeah, I gotta remember that they do exist and they will kill me. I think there's one in that house down there and another by the entrance. And we do need to go by the, by the entrance, so we best get we best get Codsworth to kill those. All right, let's do that. Um, and we need to get the explosive one down here as well. It would be nice if we could find some kind of armor. I don't think we had a safe, right? Did we have a safe in here? Uh, no, not unless it's a floor one. We will go back for the gold bar and the little shutter thing at the back in the back garden. We always go back for that. The gold bars are very important to generate very early money. Not in this one. Uh. Right, there's definitely one in this one. However, it also has you. Hello. Come to me, good sir. My robot friend will hopefully destroy you. Hey, there you go. You can't get over the log. Oh, there's two. Oh, interesting. Okay. I don't always see two in there. Or at least I don't remember two anyway. Oh, God. Okay. God's worth. Godsworth! Go get him! There you go. I got the gold everyone, but I've never used them. Really? Oh, dude. Generating early money. They are so good. The, one of the issues that a lot of people have with the, with the gold is that they pick it up with the intention of selling it, but then they store all the junk in the, um, in the workbench and forget about it. Which is fine. I've done that before several times over. Uh, we actually don't want to do this. Or do we? We could, we could get armor. We could get something with some kind of armor rating. Alright, we'll risk it. We'll risk it. We're not going to do too many things that give us experience on the way to Fun Harbor. Nice. Um, we can sell these. All right, bit of experience, unfortunately. No armor in this podunk town. I could have sworn I saw one dude make a playthrough of this, and he found a mailman outfit. I don't know if that gives you any kind of armor value. Uh, no, there's one more. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. I don't know if that. I don't know if uh, mailman outfits give you armor value though. I mean, it's not just armor. Per se, we might find an item that has that gives us like strength or endurance or something, which would help us as well. Uh, but I don't want to search for too long, really. All right, okay. So the path is now clear. So let's go and get the gold. Well, can you check the bag up there as well? I'm sure, there are outfits, but no armor. Over pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, nothing like leather or anything. All right. Alright, okay, so things are looking good so far. In the December playthrough, we'll obviously scour this place a hell of a lot more. It's got a Molotov cocktail, nice. We'll scour this place a lot more because, um, well, I just permadeath. I need to make sure I do everything right. But for this run, uh, we don't need everything. 
Uh, 45 rounds, a lot of things we can sell here. Uh, beer bottles. Remember, we've got to carry a fat man, so we don't want to take everything. What is our carry weight now? 39.95. Right. We'll take that. Take the pre-war money. All right, I think that'll do. That'll do. Wait, is there a third bar? Wait, are you serious? Oh, dude, that's so big if there is. I didn't realize there's a third bar. Really? Oh, you you best not be kidding me. Oh, there is! Oh, you're a genius. Oh, man, I only thought there was two. Oh, wow, you're incredible, Finn. You're amazing. Thank you. Man, I didn't know there was three. Oh, the value that I've been missing out on. Bloody hell. Dang, thank, thanks, man. You're amazing. You, sir, are the nuts. And I mean that in a good way, of course. Okay, right. Let's do this. And then let's do this. Uh, second Molotov cocktail. Very nice. Pipe pistol, power relay coil. Uh, I got a stealth boy from that one time, believe it or not. But uh, two Molotov cocktails. Very nice indeed. Um... I just hear something? Hmm, weird. Uh, right, one more thing we need to do before we go. We're going to sleep here as well. Um, but one more thing before we go. We need to check uh, what we got from here in terms of aid. Very nice. In terms of weapons, we got nothing pretty much. And... Don't think we can make any Molotovs out of... Oh, we can't make Molotovs anyway until we get Demo Experts, so we can't do that. But we can get the frag grenades from the front door. We are going to need some cloth as well to make a bed, so I'm going to hope we can get some from in there, maybe. I don't think there's any more cockroaches. Cockroaches? Rad roaches. Uh, right, so frag grenades. Don't need the death fan. Uh, let's see if we can make a bed. We... Can. Nice. All right. Cool. And let's do that. Whew. We can build a water pump as well before we go. Get some uh, some water in us. And it's always nice to do this at night. Right. I never remember where the water pump is, by the way. So forgive me. Furniture, miscellaneous. And by pump, I mean sink. Uh, let's see... Do, 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 do. All right, there you go. Fill more bottles. Fill more bottles! We will not be needing these pistols until we sell them, of course. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So, we don't plan on using any explosives on the way there. However, we don't want to be using this pistol either, so we'll do that. Two Molotovs, two francs is kind of amazing, to be honest with you. We'll get a bit of meat, we'll get stim packs, uh, we'll take everything. And I think there's something up here as well that we can take. Uh, ooh, a third Molotov cocktail. Dang. I'm almost tempted to go back and save. Yeah, I'm going to go back and save. The RNG's been kind to us. Let's go back. Let's go save. Again, in permadeath, this save would be completely and utterly pointless, but we just got ourselves three Molotovs and an extra one from that one over there, so... Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, hi! <laughs> Where did you come from? Codsworth? I got one more for you. Oh, God. Cody... I got one more for you, dude. Yep. Go get him. Go get him, dude. Go get him. Yep. Oh, that's a... That's a feisty one. Hey, cow. Yeah, you too, dude. Thank you. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> uh, it would be nice to cook this meat, but I don't want to get too much experience. I mean, it only gives us, like, two experience per go. It's not like we have idiot savants or anything. Right, okay. Yeah, we'll risk it. We can cook food once we're there. If we survive the initial encounter. 
The problem with the initial encounter in Far Harbor, where you've got to defend the place, it's not necessarily the monsters that kill you, it's the people that throw all the flipping molotovs. I mean, Eddie Cuts, he got his ass kicked by that. Hey, Jagaz, how you doing? Welcome to the stream, my dear. Hopefully you are well. Can't get Idiot Savant to your level at once. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, it's not like Idiot Savant's going to ruin us because we are level 1, but still experience. Mm, no, we'll stick to level 1 here. We're, we won't risk getting too much experience from cooking or anything. How you doing tonight, Jay? Uh, Jay guys, if you're wondering why we're doing this, we completed Nuka World and my game crashed. We ended it by getting the... Uh, like the the first zapper pistol, the one that kind of fires weaponized uh, nuka uh, nuka cola, like nuka cola quantums, and then the game crashed, and everyone was like, "It's a sign, DJ. It's a sign." And then Fantastic had this uh, amazing idea for like Far Harbor level one, and I was like, "Let's make it explosives only." It's like a practice teaser kind of thing for December. Biometrics kind of. You when I started today, no intelligence allowed. Nice, man. I assume that says intelligence. Not well. I'm feeling terrible, actually. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, migraines and stuff? Well, try and rest easy, and I'll try and entertain you a little bit. Hopefully I'll make your night a little better, but I more than likely won't. <laughs> How's that going then, fantastic? I assume you're going for the whole um, idiot savant kind of kind of thing. I mean, to be honest with you, Finn, for a lot of my characters, low intelligence is actually not a bad thing at all. Uh, idiot savant is such a good experience engine that you don't really like want the intelligence. I mean, we needed to get gun nut for Jenny, absolutely, because we needed that damage boost. But holy crap, we we didn't. We, I, I normally don't need it at all. Intelligence. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. My grand fever, anxiety, nausea. Oh no. Oh god. Do you know? Like, is there something like specifically up? Do you know what's wrong? Or I don't know. I hope you feel better soon, Jay. That sounds really bad. Uh. Idiot Savant Run, never did it before. Right, no power armor, pistol, and melee only. Right, okay. Idiot Savant is powerful. It is such a good kind of... It's such a good experience engine. I honestly feel that Idiot Savant is supposed to act as an equalizer. Because what you'd normally have is full intelligence and you'd get that extra 13%-ish experience per action if you had 10 intelligence. And so Idiot Savant is supposed to kind of make up for that. Because if you have one intelligence plus Idiot Savant, if you don't get Idiot Savant triggers, you're getting basic experience. But the occasional boost from Idiot Savant is supposed to equalize the amount of experience you get compared to a 10 intelligence run. However, the amount of times that Idiot Savant triggers, especially on quests, in my opinion, it actually ends up just being better than intelligence. And so much so that I would, I just love Idiot Savant pretty much every single time. Um, there are times when I have to put points in, into intelligence. Again, Jenny needed gun nut. But even then, Idiot Savant still worthwhile. Even if you have 10 intelligence, stick a point in Idiot Savant anyway. I mean, you only have like a 1% chance for it to proc. But still, when it does, dude... Yeah, but the no hacker will be will drive me nuts. Do you like hacking? Nice. I, did I have I gone too far? I may have gone too far. Um, I don't hack too much, as you probably know. You've seen me play a lot. I don't hack too much, unfortunately, so I tend to leave hacker alone. Um, if I'm doing some kind of power armor run, the nuclear physicist is obviously very important, but. Uh, for the main, mainly, I, I don't tend to use intelligence perks too much. Uh, for those of you that don't know, there is a fat man around here somewhere. Here it is. And also, you can get very stuck inside these cars, so be very, very careful. 
Uh, we also are too heavy. You had just fine, you're just impatient with it. <laughs> it's really annoying. <laughs> it's really, really annoying. Oh man. Alright, uh, we are too heavy, obviously. Uh, let's see what we can do. We don't need any of this junk. Yeah, we don't need any of this. Um, biometric scanner, don't need it. Really don't need it right now. Dinner plate, don't need it. Don't need it. And don't need it. We're going to have to make room for a mini nuke as well. Are we hungry? We are. Easy hack is harder than expert. I agree. Fantastic. Absolutely. There's more variation in longer words, and that makes it a lot easier for me to figure out. So, I absolutely agree with you, dude. Uh, we'll get rid of the pipe pistols, actually. Uh, but yeah, I am very impatient with it. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people are, though, right? Uh, we don't need the fusion core. Right, okay. Uh, where am I heading? Over here. So... In fact, we don't actually need to stay here, so we don't even actually need to activate it. Uh, there we go. Oh, carrying too much still, are we? Yeah, we are. Okay, I guess 93, 50, okay. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go. Right, I need to know where Far Harbor is. <laughs> Far Harbor is... I'm going to put a marker for here. Alright, let's go. Wait, it's over that way? Okay, it's over that way, apparently. Is that true? Is that... Yep. Okay. Right. Alright, let's go. Do I take the power armor? There's power armor over there near those rad stags. Do I go for it? I, I got power armor in my level 1 nuke world run. I think I'd feel better having it, even if I didn't need it. So let's go get some. Kick? What am I kicking? No, we're looking good. We are looking good. Alright, we're going to get this power armor here. Hey, Razdags. How you doing, guys? Razdags don't care. I mean, this will kill our... Oh, we have no fusion core. Ah, we didn't pick up a fusion core. There's one over there, though. Alright. <laughs> We're gonna get the fusion core. <laughs> ah, nice and slow. Nice and slow. Yeah. In my explosives only permadeath run. Uh, this isn't permadeath, by the way, Jay. This is more of a practice challenge run kind of thing. But uh, in my explosives only permadeath run, I've allowed for a lot more strength. I'm going with six strength just to get strong back. So, uh, things like Fat Man launches, Mini Newt launches, well, mini the same thing, but Missile launches, Fat Man launches, won't be so much of an issue because I will have Strong uh, strong Back and I will have 6 Strength. Um, again, you start off with 75 base carry capacity with any character. You get um, 10 points of carry capacity per Strength, so that would be 135, and then you add in uh, Lone Wanderer, and strong back and you end up getting near enough 200 carry capacity straight off the bat which is plenty with this character because it's level one endurance is more of a thing so we're going to go with that instead and you know we are going to activate this guy because we want to explode him we want to make him blow up so we're going to do that we want to make him blow up so we can take his fusion cores as well. Oh, and also, I forgot about this, so I'm glad we came back. Uh, we don't need any of that. We'll take the hot rodder, even though we don't need it. And the weight of explosives, 7 pounds per missile, 5 pounds per grenade. Um, yeah, 0.5 pounds per grenade. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, we need to establish in this, pl in this playthrough some kind of survivability first of all. In the permadeath run, my stats will well, my stats and my gameplay will allow me to survive a lot easier. Um but with because I'll have levels behind me. But with this, I need to make sure that I'm tough enough to take a few hits. 
before I can even start throwing them. Because it's okay if I die here. It's not okay if I die in permadeath. I've been watching someone play permadeath today, actually. Um, there's a streamer called Death Nels. Oh, God. He plays quite a bit of Fallout 4. She's been doing a permadeath run, just regular permadeath runs, and I think I saw her die five times today. Oh, God. Alright, go get them, sentry butt. Yeah. There you go. This strat is genius, by the way. I love it. When I saw someone do this, I just squealed for days. Because this is one of the best things ever. <laughs> if you need an, exp uh, an early kind of big weapon. Oh, it's so good. So good to get a fat man this early. Alright, and then we play tape. We're doing this for diffusion cores, and instead of taking out the big guy, initiate self-destruct. Interestingly, you can send this sentry bot over to other places. I, you, I tend to send him to Olivia, USAF Elizabeth, uh, Olivia, just to kind of kill a few people. Uh, well, what I do when I play on my own, I've not actually shown that off in uh, on stream. All right. Give me your fusion cores! There we go, get a couple of those... Eh, eh. Well, I mean, we got the carry capacity now, we could start carrying things. Does any of this sell well, though? Eh. Not really. Not really, no. Okay. Alright, let's grab some meat. Now, one thing we could have done, realistically, is we could have gone to the, um, what's it called? Sunny Tide Co-op, or whatever it's called. We we do have the survival... Oh, okay, that's Concord. I was wondering what that was. We do have the Sunny uh, Tide Co-op place, which can give you the magazine to get you uh, to meet per drop. We could have gone there, realistically. It would have only given us one extra experience drop we could have just kind of sn like sneaked around all of the ghouls hopefully to get that magazine oh god oh god we don't want to fight anything we really don't want to fight anything at all it's pretty hard to be sneaky in power armor let me tell you all right these does, not an issue. Unless they get a little frisky. They do throw off your sneak though, unfortunately. I hate that. I really do. I want to take a left here. Mole rat's not an issue. I want to take a little left here. I don't know if there's enemies at this uh, place. Don't even know what this place is. In fact, I want to give this a wide berth just in case. Oh god. Alright, I'm just getting hit by a lot of rad stag does here. Oh, I thought you were a dog then. Oof. Okay. What's up, people's in the internet? Hey, dude. How you doing, Ruby? Sure. You keep firing, man. You keep firing. Whew, Raiders there, yeah. I will run. I don't mind blowing these two fusion cores. Just running there. Hey Lucky, how you doing dude? Long time no see. Oh god. Okay, I don't want anything to do with that. <laughs> oh man, typically the northern edge of this map isn't too dangerous until you hit around maybe here like this kind of area that's where I oh is, oh is that Olivia all right okay I didn't realize it was so close uh, oh yeah of course it would be yeah nice yeah it's usually not too dangerous until you hit the middle part of the northern edge and then you start seeing some pretty crazy crap uh, so hopefully we won't run into that How's Melly Moore? Uh, she's good, man. She's good. She's at work. She's tired. Really tired today. Uh, apparently, she was kind of passing out while she was driving. She had to pull over and just chill for a little bit. Uh, she had a birthday yesterday, though, which was pretty good. She 
seemed to enjoy that. She seemed to enjoy the present I got her. So, yeah, she's happy enough. Oh, uh, we want to stay away from that. Okay. Looking good so far. I mean, we're in power armor. If we need to run, we can. And our endurance, I think, is okay. Yeah, 125 is absolutely fine. Uh, I will be looking at the map quite a lot, by the way. What did you get her? I got her Life is Strange to uh, the Deluxe Edition. It was a game she really, really loved. Well, she loved the first one anyway, um, so I thought I'd get it for her. Uh, she was going to get it herself eventually, but um, a lot of her money goes towards the house and helping her mom out and stuff, so I thought I'd ease the pressure a little bit and get her something she'd enjoy. Wait, it was Melly's birthday? Now I feel bad for missing her stream. Oh, she didn't stream. She can't stream yet. Her, her internet's not good enough. But, uh, yeah, her birthday was on the 29th. Tried to make it fun for her because uh, she, doesn't, she, she says she doesn't really enjoy birthdays anymore. I mean, we all get to that point in life, don't we? That was sweet of you. Thank you. Yeah, well, I mean... For my birthday, I think she donated like £25 or something. If you remember the Fallout 4 stream we did last year, got quite a few donations on my birthday. She donated one, so I wanted to get her something she'd really like, and she loves that game, so yeah. Oh well, hopefully it's good. I'm also going to allow that to my new run. Figured with Melee, I need to strange using get. Um. Yeah, like, if you're gonna go the Blitz Ninja route, then that is obviously essential, because that's how Blitz works. But if you're going to go the tanky, kind of Skyrim route, as I like to call it, where you build up your endurance, and... I don't know what this place is, by the way. You build up your endurance and you just swing your weapon, then you don't necessarily need that for that. So it depends on what kind of melee you want to go with, really. Uh, I've never tried the Skyrim route. I've never built a tanky character uh, for melee. Because, to be honest with you, in survival, I don't know how well that would go. <laughs> Especially early game. I couldn't imagine charging towards a raider with, like, ten endurance, sure, but, like, no armor, and trying to kill him with, like, a machete or something. I don't know how well that would go. Skyrim, I'm an archer. Oh, okay, so <laughs> that doesn't really work for you, then. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It, it's, it's a way you can do it. I think if you did go for, like, ten endurance, tough armor, maybe something like Grognak's Axe, then you could make the non-vats kind of like melee character work, but Blitz Ninja is just so good. If you get Blitz and get Ninja, then I mean, you kill everything. That is, that's how I make melee only work, even at level 1. Even at even in Nuka World. I mean, I kill Coulter. Oh. I love this. Wait, what? What am I pickpocketing? I love this. It happens so many times. This, this glitch. I don't see the funny thing is there's quite clearly no raider here, and yet if I pickpocket this, and somehow I fail, I feel like the raider's going to appear out of nowhere and kill me. So we're not going to do it. Yeah, we are not going to pickpocket the ghost raider. Ah. <laughs> uh. Alright. Oh, hey, Danger Burst. Sorry, I missed your message because um, you and Lucky have exactly the same color. But, um. Man, that's sounding racist. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Danger Burst, if you're still here, dude, how you doing, man? Long time no see, man. Hopefully you're okay. I think that has only happened to uh, me once. It really helped. Yeah, it happens to me a lot, Jay Guys. Well, when I say it a lot, I'm not like. It's not, I'm not saying like a hundred times or like a thousand times, but it happens quite a bit for me. It's not just once in a blue moon. Hey, long ear, how you doing, dude? How you doing tonight, man? I'd wave to you, but my hands are firmly clutching this controller, and I don't want to die. Million times, a million times, long ear. 
literally a million times. Whew. Man, God. That's the thing about streaming. That's about that's the thing about streaming. If you have low stream stamina and you're used to two hour streams and everyone comes in after like three hours, it's it <laughs> it kind of forces you to stream longer than you're used to. So I need to kind of stream longer now and at least get to Far Harbor. Never happened to me. Must be a British thing. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's strange. Like, I think I I think I may have pit chose the pit pocket option before, but I think I succeeded in the pit pocket, so I don't know what would happen if I failed it. It's weird. I don't know. Now... We do have the Insane Asylum somewhere around here, and also um, Lynn Wood. We kind of want to avoid those, definitely. Hey, Chi Chi, how you doing, dude? See, like, I've been streaming for like three hours, and you're all coming in now. <laughs> Anyone pick up Fallout One for free? Um, is is it still free? I don't want to go down here, really. I'd like to keep the high land here, the high ground. I missed what you were talking about. That happened a million times. Oh, it's just a glitch. Just a glitch in Fallout. Uh, don't worry about it. I can't get the high ground. Okay. I'm hoping there's not too much bad stuff here. Not too bad. Just come home from fishing. Nice. You catch anything, dude? Well, I mean, obviously you caught, any, caught something. Did you catch anything big? This is my alert queen territory, right? Isn't there like a big my alert queen around here somewhere? Yes, it was, but I had Fallout already. Okay. Maybe if I create another Steam account then. If it's still free, I still need, I, I will get it, because... I mean, I can't stream it, because I can only stream things that are on my console, but I'll get it for myself. I can't do one and two. The top scrolls are awful to me. Yeah. It's a... Ooh. Aha! Hello. This could be death right now, guys. Do we get it? Are we, oh, we did. Weird. That felt weird to me. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I quite like, uh, quite like uh, Fallout One. So, uh, yeah, I might get it for myself if it's still free, of course. Are these live? Yeah, they are. Okay, good. Whew. Yeah, nothing but a few bait sized fish. No, okay. Well, I guess it's not always about the fish, is it? It's just about the experience, right? I mean, it's nice if you catch things, but it's also nice if you just enjoy the experience, I imagine. It's supposed to be free for the rest of today. Right. It is 11.59 Pacific, so right now it is. Yeah, it is. Def yeah, that's what time it is here. Oh god. I'm not gonna... Like, if you're t gonna tell me that it's... It's free... Free for like a second right now. Like, one more second and then it's over. I'm not gonna rush to get it. I can live without it. And playing good old Fallout 3 at the moment? Nice, dude. What you up to in Fallout 3? You and Megaton? Are you making love to Moira Brown? Baddest gal in the whole damn town? God, I love Moira Brown. She's so good. She's so good. Oh God, I'm so bad at Skyrim. Please. Oh God. Okay. I really do fear my alert queens around this area. It just looks like a very my alertky queen kind of area. Would pay three dollars for it. <laughs> pay money for games? Are you a madman? <laughs> I mean, I could. You just donated to me. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Oh, yeah, guys. Fantastic donated $10 to me. So, everyone be really nice to him. And tell him how great he is, okay? No one was in stream, pretty much, when he donated. So, we couldn't generate any kind of chat hype. So, if you could all, like, say nice things to Finn and just treat him like the god that he is, that would be great. You in a subway tunnel? Uh, there's a lot of those in Fallout 3. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! 
We're getting there, dudes. We're getting there. We're almost there. All right. Okay. Uh, we are not almost there. Holy crap! I am so sorry. This has taken a while. <laughs> Alright, so Linwood is in the distance there. That's what the tower is all about. So we want to try and avoid that if we can. <sighs> I mean, there's no Deathclaws there yet. Deathclaws only appear once you activate the raid. Not the radar, the klaxon horn thing. Siren, that's the word. But there's a lot of raiders there to worry about. So Deathclaw is no, Raiders, yeah. We also don't want to run into any Maya Lurks. And we can't swim in Power Armor. I know that there's some Deathclaws and Bears. What, around that area? There's definitely Deathclaws. I don't think I've seen Yao guys around here. Um, oh, is this the area with the Maya Lurk Queen? I'm really fearful about a Maya Lurk Queen. <laughs> Uh, I have not slept since Sanctuary, by the way, dudes. Just to let you know. Oh, I don't like my footsteps. I really don't like my footsteps right now. Are you level 1? Yeah, we are. We can't level until we get to the Nakano Residence or Far Harbor. Preferably until we get to Far Harbor, but if I do end up leveling as a result of finding the Nakano residence, that is allowed. When I was there, I even counted flying but Flying bears? What? Oh god. You drunk again, Longyear? You drunk again, dude. Alright, we're getting there, dudes. We really are getting there slowly. <laughs> Unfortunately, Far Harbor is miles away. So, yeah, we're getting there, but it is miles away. I'm just so glad, famous last words, that we've run into no danger. I mean, there's been potential danger. We almost ran into a mole rat, which at level one is quite a terrifying thing. I might not be drunk, but that is a Fallout 4 glitch. <laughs> oh, God. I'm still here. Ah, oh, Fontana, good to know, dude. Man, it's late in Italy, dude. What are you doing up? What are you doing awake still? Thank you for stopping by. Oh, oh, thank you for stopping for so long. More frag grenades. In my permadeath run, we we've uh, we've gone for sneak free, definitely. We're making it a sneak run. Mainly because of these uh, these mines, we want to eliminate the threat of mines. That's sneaky, that. But also very good. Super mutants, Fallout Three super mutants. I've not faced a super mutant in Fallout Three for ages. Are they tough? I can't remember. All right, is it survival? This, yes. This is level one. Oh. Uh, oh, this is Mysterious Serum Place. Alright, we want to give this a swerve as well. Yes, this is level 1 uh, Far Harbor Survival Explosives only. So, we can only use explosives to cause damage. We can shoot guns to distract, or, well, attract, I guess, attention. But, um, yeah, we can only use explosives to cause damage. And we have to be level 1 by the time we either reach the Nakano Residence... Um, or until we actually get to Far Harbor. Again, I allow the Nakano residence because um, it's basically Far Harbor, and you have to take that experience. You have to take the Nakano residence experience, and if that knocks you up to level 2, well, so be it. So I allow that in my level 1 runs. Rocket Spray and Prey. Um, uh, spray and pray is technically allowed. I wouldn't allow it, and I'm not going to in my permadeath run. Um, but it wouldn't be viable in this playthrough because we'd have to find cricket, and it would be quite difficult finding cricket and not gaining experience from finding locations. Uh, I think one of the 
most common places to find cricket, correct me if I'm wrong, is in front of Diamond City. Like, early on anyway, that's where I find her the most. And so you would need to get Diamond City's um, experience. You would need to get... Oh, you'd probably get... Would you get Piper? Like, quest experience? Do you get experience once you've, like, got to Piper and Mayo McDonough? Is that, like, the end of a quest? Can't quite remember. Uh, Sentinel Lions. Yes, of course. That's my last name. Yes, indeed it is. Jagas. Brotherhood of Steel. Confirmed. That is not much experience for visiting places. You'd be surprised. Uh, you get like 21 on a low intelligence run, which is what I have right now. And if you get anywhere near a location, then it hampers you. It really does. I've, I've not even cooked food. Piper gives you double experience after you get max affinity. Indeed, she... Oh, oh, we are in an unholy land. Avoid places. So, you would need to go... So, Diamond City is... Uh, about... I, can't, I can never remember. Let's say it's about here. You've got a lot to get through. Cambridge is around here. So, you'd have to... So, you'd have to avoid... Um, You'd have to avoid Red Rocket. You'd have to avoid Concord. So you'd have to come around here. Um, you'd have to avoid a lot of places here. Drumlin, Starlight. It'd be tricky. You could do it. You could do it, but it'd be tricky. Alright. That was almost dangerous. Dogs versus ghouls. Kind of hoping... In fact, I don't know. I'm kind of hoping they all killed themselves. <laughs> I'd say it was doable, but it, it, it would require planning, and um, yeah, good knowledge of the area, I'd say. Uh, of course, the longer that you are walking around the wastelands, the more at danger you are from enemies. You don't want to fight enemies because it would give you experience, and if you level up, then you're not going to get to wherever you want to be by the time, not well, get you to where you want to be by the time you're level 1. You'd be level 2 because you get too much experience from fighting things, and that kind of invalidates the run. I think I have a boring YouTube video where I avoided everything. Yeah? You have a YouTube video? Dude, do you still make YouTube videos? Just to get Piper and get that experience bonus. Yeah, if you can get Piper's experience bonuses early, then holy crap. It's kind of amazing. But, um, yeah, it's no use for us here. Am I even going the right area here? Am I... This is correct, right? Isn't it? I think this is right. I think this is right, yeah? Right? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's over here. Okay, good. Whew! Alright, we made it. <laughs> we made it. Alright, now we can, st we can start collecting experience if we wish. I'm hoping there's like no ghouls or Milex around here. And no, we are not killing the cat. That takes a lot of time to edit them and prepare. All right, okay. I mean, dude, I'll subscribe to you. I like kind of seeing other people's Damn it. channels. Come in. Oh. I know you're listening on the other end. Oh. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Wait, what? Kenji, please. You've been at this for hours. Stop. See, like, if you saw that, 21 experience. There, Quite a lot Someone for level one. Her. I need to lie down, I'll still be listening, but won't be able to chat. That's alright, Jagos, don't worry. I want you to feel better, so, um, just go relax, and, uh, yeah, um, feel better, please. DJ, there is a Kiloton rifle from the Children of Atom. Uh, nice. Is that any good? I heard the shouting. Hopefully it's good. A good Samaritan? Fine. I'm out of options anyway, if you want to hear about it. Wait, kill a ton of rifle. Wait, does that do explosive damage? Damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. It's more entertaining to watch someone else doing it. Yeah. No, absolutely. Absolutely. I used to make videos longer. I, I, I mean, I didn't edit too much, but I used to make them too. Uh, you all know the story of Far Harbor, right? 
Don't you worry. Thank you. I should probably go, uh, I probably should have got that charisma check. Can I get some charisma Mrs. checks from you? I suppose you have questions about my daughter. Not really. I just want charisma. Nothing? Okay. Nothing else right now. Rockets are allowed? Yes. Far Harbor Spray and Pray with Rads. Really? Okay. Alright, well, as this is not, like, the most serious run in the world, if it is explosive damage, I'll use it, alright? And I do have agility free for, um, for Commando, so we can make it work. Right, I need to remember how to even start this. Oh, I can't sleep here now, can I? No, okay. Um, uh, there's a key, right? Isn't there a key? My pot, hop on some Fallout 4. Do it, Chuchi. Yes, rockets are allowed. Missiles are allowed. Basically, anything that causes explosive damage is allowed. I'm, I'm kind of. Oh, thank you for the follow, Samuel. I'm not too sure about whether I want to allow spray and pray for the permadeath one. I don't know. I was thinking of meeting you guys halfway on that by saying that I will allow explosive legendaries that I find, but I won't allow the ones that I can buy. But, I don't know, that might be too picky. Uh, right, do you me? Open this. Yada, yada, yada. Get the tape. Listen to Kasumi's final holotape, which is called Kasumi's final holotape. You know, it's some um, cheating in a way because you're visiting some places before the max level, and some of them are just to your low level. Yeah, in a way. Uh, I mean, in um, in Nuka World, a lot of the enemies don't adjust to your level at all. You, they, a lot of the enemies have skulls on their heads. I don't know if Far Harbor is the same. The big difference, uh, at least in my opinion, between Far Harbor and Nuka World, is that with Nuka World, you only get that quest at level 30. You only get it at level 30. Um, you can go to Nuka World, obviously, but you can only get that quest at level 30. And if you go to Nuka World before level 30, it will warn you that you're not higher level, high, high enough level. I don't think Far Harbor gives you that warning, which makes me think that perhaps a lot of the enemies will be scaled down to my level, and so it will be a lot easier than Nuka World. But I'm not. Uh, that sounds like a good, com com a good compromise. Yeah, I, again, I... Uh, explosive weapons, they are explosives. So absolutely, they should be allowed. But I just think getting having the spray and pray so readily available... Well, I say readily available. Cricket's a pain in the ass to find, but you know what I mean. Having it guaranteed in her inventory, I felt like it was cheating. I don't know, though. Thank you, uh, Geo, for the follow. All right, hey guys, how you doing? Did you find anything? Far Harbor monsters are level 25, right? I so there's no scaling there; they're just rock Price hard. Ball. All right, Harbor. it is like fighting mutants in Boston. Right? Okay. No well, the good thing about explosives is that you can kind of cheat levels. When you get a 10 millimeter right. pistol, you're not going to be killing high level stuff. I just, you just well, you can, you can, but it's tough. Kind of With explosives, because they're so strong, made contact they um, they kill a lot of high-level stuff she for you. She's one of them. So, um, she's yeah, a... explosives are going to be fun, but also a pain. Oh well, love it. I Google to find something, and Google thinks of Fallout 3 New Vegas and 4. Not even the first Fallout, because I keep trying to buy items, but the NPC won't let me just buy them. Sorry. I uh, have to see how you are doing to see if you need to go to Cricket or not. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I can't always find Cricket. That's an issue, but we'll have to see. Actually, I need to dig up my files and look again, but yes, Nuka World was the higher minimum levels. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't listening to any of that. Are we good to go? Yeah, travel to Far Harbor, right? All right, let's get out of here. Let's get to Far Harbor. Let's go get some levels, dude. Let's go get some levels. Let's go get some freaking levels. <sighs> yeah. Do we punch the cat? Oh, I can't punch a cat. <laughs> Do we punch a cat? No, we don't punch a cat. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go! Boom! We did it! 
I always find it with Vault 81. Yeah? Well, like, consistently? I guess that's what you mean by always. Yeah. I'm gonna go get a... Oh, no, I don't need a drink. I still have half a glass of water. Fantastic. Yeah, I don't know. I just can't find cricket. I think, what would Melly do? <laughs> Melly would not play such a silly challenge run. Oh, in terms of the cats, right. Does, does she like cats? Melly loves cats. Um, first time round with Eddie Kurtz, my melee only character, when I suggested that I may kill the cat, Melly gave me the death glare. It was it was like a death glare that was a million times stronger than Jagaz's death glare, and Jagaz's death glare is deadly. So she loves cats. So we're gonna go with a no on the cat killing thing, even though I did kill some cats at the end of that playthrough, but no one talks about that anymore. Hey, Daniel Lee. How you doing, dude? Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> how you doing tonight, Daniel Lee? It's kind of late for you, man. Then again, it is a Sunday for you, so it's fine. Well, Sunday now, anyway. It's past midnight. Okay, I forgot my HDD crash and all that info was wiped. <sighs> Unlucky, dude. Unlucky. Bad? Why bad, Daniel Lee? Can you not sleep? Right, so, this is a problem right now. We can fight back against the monsters that are going to hit Far Harbor. The thing is, we probably don't want to. Or maybe we do. Maybe we do want to throw a Molotov or two. Yeah, maybe we do, actually. Alright, let's see how much experience we get. What do you reckon, guys? What level do you reckon I'll be? You walked into something on Friday? What did you walk into, man? You're not gonna give me another level, right? Another level? Maybe? 400 experience? Maybe? Come on. Give me another level. Nice. You're not gonna give me a third. Give me to half. I'm being greedy now. Get me to half and I'll be happy. That'll do. That'll do nicely. All right, so. With a low level run, I don't really, it doesn't really matter what your build is, in my opinion, well, it, it, unless, you're, unless you've got companions, but in a low level run like this, the best first pick, in my opinion, is Lone Wanderer. Lone Wanderer is so good. 15% less damage, increased carry capacity. For someone like us, that's going to be essential, because we're not always going to have power armor, and we're always going to be carrying heavy explosives. So this pound for pound is just like the best value perk you can get early on absolutely but we're also <sighs> the smart money is on demolition expert however it's also a lot better to get idiot savant early on so we're gonna gamble and we're gonna get idiot savant right and hopefully we can get some cheap experience uh, excuse me. Two teens going at it in a bathroom stall. Oh, really? Ooh, you poor thing. <laughs> hey, Avery. This is Far Harbor. We, uh, we don't get many visitors around here. Lexus. Yeah, you're a synth. We don't need no freeloaders. I need your explosives, help. Alan. So please be so friends with me. You can get that sailor and Alan, use glitch to pick up dog. items. I don't know what it's any strangers. of that means, Long oh, well, Gear. Please elaborate. Sorry, you've caught us during the. A difficult time. Yeah, you're about to get hit by monsters. Got a point. We all know the story of Far Harbor, right? A woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi. You bleached your eyes? Oh, dude. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Uh, more like a crazy guy trying to do a challenge run for frills. <laughs> also because my game crashed and Jenny McCree's pretty much done with anyway. Alright. So... So when I did this with my melee only character, <sighs> I died to Molotovs. Thank you for the follow, JG. Not much of a story. It's hard living here. And the story. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Do you get companion old Longfellow? Indeed you do. Um, you're, you can't, you're kind of forced to have Longfellow on the way up to Arcadia, 
That's about it, though. I think, anyway. I don't know if you can send him away on the trip to Arcadia, but um, if we have to have him, so be it. If we don't have to have him, then we'll do without him. Am I supposed to, like, stand here? There we go. Alright, right, here we go. Alright. No, you don't need to take him along. We oh, God. See? Molotovs. We're going to try and get in there. I don't know if I hit anything there. We're not going to waste explosives, though. Alright, we're just going to let them get everything. I mean, it would be nice to get some of this experience, but I don't want to die. Especially since we've not slept. We can get plenty of experience from the rest of this DLC. So this, we're just going to let everyone else do all of this. We wouldn't get much experience. Ah, we wouldn't get much experience anyway. Although we do have idiots of all. Hmm. Right, remember to cook food as well. Once all, of, once they're all dead, we got to jump down there. We're going to pick up as much food as we possibly can. For this build, you need sneaking. This killing is tricky. Yes, absolutely. With my explosions... Oh, God! <laughs> With my explosives only... Um, Ooh, really? Uh, permadeath character that I'm doing in December. I do have agility free specifically for the sneak stat. Um, I'm also considering Wasteland Was uh, Wasteland Whisperer. Sorry, for my explosives only permadeath run. Just as like an added defense, Wasteland Whisperer is so good at just kind of pacifying a lot of creatures in the game. Oh god. So, I'm considering that as well. Although saying that, dropping 9 on Charisma is... Oh, it's such a big drop. Although Charisma is easy experience, so if you can guarantee... Well, almost guarantee uh, getting all the Charisma checks, it's not a bad idea to go 9 Charisma for Wasteland Whisperer. Alright, you all dead yet? Oh god, see... I don't know, with Eddie, I, I sat up there, and for some reason they kept throwing Molotovs at me, and I kept dying. I'm a lot safer here. No. Eyes on the fog. Something's coming. Alright, more is coming. Alright, round two. Anglers, is it? Yeah, I think it's the anglers. <laughs> Yellow! Did I get one? Did I do some damage? I was hoping I'd get some of it. If you're building settlements, any build is viable. Um, oh god, anglers are skulls. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh! What the hell was that? Oh, anglers spit stuff, right? Yeah, they do. Thank you for the follow. Um, I'm going to call you king. Um, but, uh, yeah. Settlement building does help. You don't always need it, though. With this build, with the explosives build, I'm going to need it. I'm going to need to find junk, I'm going to need a network, and I'm going to need access to that network at all times, so I can build molotovs, build frag grenades, build whatever I need to build. Yeah, see, there's no point me going out there. I'll get hit by a molotov knowing me. Alright, there you go. Again, with a low level build, cowardice is sometimes smart. <laughs> Oh man. Are we good? We're clear. Yeah we are. Well done all. Good job everybody. Alright. Uh Oh god, everyone died. In in before some dude well oh wolfish man's cat. Nice. Uh do wait, does this have any kind of armor value? No, just endurance. Yeah, in before the angler I forgot kills me, right? Um, let's see what else we can do. Gold pit innards. I can imagine you can cook gold pit innards. I'm going to imagine that counts as the meat, maybe? I don't know. There's not really much around here. Hmm. Angler meat I saw there, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Nice. Two angler meat. Can't use any of this. Short hunting rifle. Not explosives. Uh, bottle caps. I should be taking all this to sell, though. What is our carry capacity? Yeah, let's take all this to sell. Let's make some money. Let's make some money! You're not money. 
your money. Give me all that money. Any more money around here? No? Yeah, okay then. Death equals count. Exactly. Exactly, my good friend. Exactly. Alright. Avery, how are you doing? Avery. And now you see what we're up against. Absolutely. The the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. Oh, no. And for your help when we needed it. You deserve this. What is it? Oh, money! Nice! If you manage to survive despite all that... We're gonna need a lot of money. Tough. We're gonna need a lot of explosives. Ornery, more like. We're gonna I need to get to Demo Expert 2 quickly. Hall, Time you let me deal with the real problem. With hmm. the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. Oh, Alan. Dog's been here for yeah, yeah. I want the island. No, no I want the island. Sure. Get back to business. Sorry for all that. It's all right, Avery. Getting there will. No one knows the. Uh, yeah. Thanks for the help. Info. Best place to right. So you Let don't have to go meet time. him. And Absolutely. Okay, right. that makes sense. Um. Oh, it does say talk to old Longfellow though. But I'd still be welcome in Arcadia. Eh, we may as well take him, right? We'll talk to him. Oh, I don't even know anymore. Anyway, Alan, give me all your explosives. Huh. The mainlander. Great. I know I'm great. Sure. I'm just trying to help. I was just trying to help. Charity makes Right, yeah. Makes you need more and more. Uh right. What happens next time? Either us harbor. I just need your guns. Show me what you got. Let's deal. Alright, so, thanks to Fantastic, and again, I didn't realize this, but in Sanctuary, you actually get three gold bars, not two. So that's actually amazing. We can sell all three to, uh, of them to him, but what we're going to need is explosives. Thank you, MLG Pro, for the follow. As long as you know where it is, comic book, you don't need Longfellow. Um... Oh, that's a good... Uh, I vaguely know where it is. Alright, we'll gamble. We'll gamble. We'll try and find it on our own. Alright, give me all your mollies. So if you get weapon drop with explosive mod attachment, is it viable weapon or is it grenades, mines, and rockets? In this spec... Yeah, well, yeah, basically, yes. It is viable. Um, Longyear, I initially wanted to ban all explosive... Um, legendaries. We're actually going to get all the frag mines. I wanted to ban all explosive legendaries because I felt like it would make the run a little too easy. So it would effectively turn it into a gun run. But um, I've kind of met people halfway by saying I will use an explosive legendary if I find it from a legendary. I'm not going to use Spray and Pray, for instance, which I can just buy from Cricket. I feel that would make it a little too easy for me. Um, leather armor would be lovely. It really would. Do you sell road levers? No, you don't. I do like having a set of leather armor for sneaking purposes. What do we have? Chest, left arm, left leg, right arm. And it's kind of cheap. Take one of each. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Uh, there you go. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, apparel. Yeah, that's all there. All right, and then you can take that. I'm going to keep the fat man. You can take the meat hook. Take the pipe pistol. Take the short hunting rifle. Take all that, take all that, take all that. Uh, we should really be using the Charisma suit now. We'll keep it, and hopefully we'll remember next time. Hooded rags. Are they count- do they count as unders? Are they under armor? I can't remember. Are you all ready for what's going to happen in about four hours? What's happening in four hours, dude? Uh, we don't need the rings. Just to keep it short for you, DJ, expect to see a ton of memes when you wake up. Why? Why, dude? What's happening? <laughs> I'm, I'm worried now. Oh, damage resistance on wool hats. Nice. Hmm. 
Are any of these armors unders? I know this is. Hooded rags don't count, right? Skeleton memes? I don't understand. Teach me. Teach me what you mean. Alright, uh, I think that's all we need. Um, stim packs? Do you sell stim packs? No, I guess you won't, will you? Because, uh, why would you? I don't think you have any under armors either. Alright, cheers, dude. Cheers, dude. Right, uh, purified water, stim packs. Halloween. Oh, right, yeah, because Halloween's in like. Let's barter. 31st of October, right? A month? That's a while away, yeah, isn't it? Uh, oh, you sold mollies too! Man, I wouldn't have wasted all my money on that loser if I knew you sold them. Holy crap. Alright, take some ammo, take some ammo, take some ammo, 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 ammo. Get to my ammo, have some ammo, have some... Have a lot of ammo. I'm gonna keep my fusion cores and my nukes. I can put all this in a workbench. Alright, we'll take Longfellow with us, because I want to... Wait, no. No, it won't lead us to a workbench. Hmm. I need a workbench. I'm going to put all this in a workbench. It could be helpful. Hey, Mel! How you doing, Melly? How you doing, my love? Are you on your break now? Uh, hopefully you are. Alright, I think we're good there. Uh, I want purified water, though, as well. Do you have any? Yeah, you do. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Thank you very much. There we go. Actually, you need to craft a robot and make it with rockets. Oh, God. Hey, Funberg! Hey, Fun. Oh, man. Funberg still with that sub to Mel. Ah, oh, yeah. Funberg's here, too. How you doing tonight, Mel? How's work? You on your break? Yeah, you're on your break. Nice. Good. Fun, how you doing, dude? How you doing tonight, Fun? I should not. All right, let's pick up as many of these quests as we possibly can. Oh yeah, nice. Fun has got all the emotes. <laughs> oh man, hopefully you're well, dude. I've seen you playing the World of Warcraft again. Hopefully you're enjoying that fun. Ah, Mel. Um, so Jenny McCree's over, Mel. We beat Nuka World. Oh, in fact, wait. I probably told you before. But yeah, to anyone new that's come in, we beat Nuka World with Jenny McCree and then the game crashed. So we've started a new small mini project for the rest of the streams up until December, which is explosives only Far Harbor level one. So um, yeah, that's going to be fun. Should we repair that armor before you get too far? That is if you're going to use it. I don't plan on using it for too much longer, but... It, I'm going to. I'm not banning power armor, so it would be useful to fix it up. Yeah. Melly cats are not killed in the stream yet. Yet. Yes. We almost punched a cat. <laughs> and then I told them about the time that um, Eddie Cuts wanted to kill the cat near the Nakano residence, and you gave me the the megaton Melly glare of death. And so, um, yeah. Uh, we didn't. But then I froze a lot of camps. You've unlocked a uh, point of interest markers across the island. Wait, so... Um, this gives you Arcadia? Does this give you Arcadia? Um, I don't know where Arcadia is on this map. Does it give you Arcadia? I don't think it does. Does it not give you Arcadia? No, I guess it doesn't. All right, I'm gonna need you to point it out then, Captain dude. Avery said you can get me to Acadia. Yeah, I, I basically need you to tell me where Arcadia is. <laughs> One of the main reasons that I actually do the Garvey Museum quest is that I don't know where Diamond City is without that map marker. I know you can get a magazine which tells you, which I think is in Abernathy Farm, maybe, but yeah. I'm really bad at reading more. the map without the markers. Oh, Woo! Experience. Uh -huh. How's it going with the budget for USA at start, if I may ask? Uh, so, I'm getting my passport in October, and I have quite a bit of money um, left over, which is really, really good, dude. Um, it's looking great. 
it really is looking great, fun bag. Let's go, long fellow. Um, I don't want to go into specifics really, but the plan was always step one, get rid of my credit card, which we've done. Step two, we're going to be doing in October, get my passport because I still don't have one. I'm going to get my first ever passport, so we're going to get that in October, and then from then on up until late late January, February area, we're going to be saving money. Like no, there's no tomorrow. Um, cheap. We found a lot of cheap flights. I need to deal with visas, obviously. Um, quite a bit to do, but it's looking good. Uh, there is no map in Abenaki Farm. There is one in Ghoul Cottage to the south of it. Right. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't quite remember where it was. I need to sleep. Can I sleep, Mitch? Which is useless, as you can ask the trader where is Diamond City. Yeah, it, I mean, I'm not saying it's a really good magazine. It's just that it kind of points it out if you find it, and if you just know if you don't have another way of finding it, if you don't meet a trader like Carla or whatever, then you know that magazine tells you where it is. But yeah, you're right. It is mostly useless. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Right. Let's go sleep. Wait, can we sleep whilst over encumbered? I don't know if that's a thing. We might, or oh, we might not actually be over encumbered. Well, we might be actually by one. I think we're going to be over encumbered by one. Let's see. Fingers crossed. Oh no, we're good. Nice. Uh, no one's going to take. No one's going to take the power armor. No, they won't. They won't. I'm always worried about leaving the fusion core in, but I don't think people sneak in at night, so that's fine. <laughs> we're not going to see Mitch riding around in my. Janky ass power armor. Uh, let's just check our defense with this lever armor, by the way. So, yeah, we do have an under in the vault suit, which is good. And we do have a better hat as well. Um, right, so we could use that. So that gives us eight, which is basically nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but if we plan on sneaking, then it's actually quite a lot. That gives us 5 and 7, so this ensemble is already better. And we do get a lot of, I'm going to assume that's energy resistance, so that's pretty good. And how do we look? We look stupid. God damn it. Alright. Okay. I'm feeling a little shy for now, so... We'll keep the power armor up to Arcadia, try and get a bit more experience. We're not going to be doing too much fighting yet. We need Demo Expert 2. We need to get a lot of cheap, free experience. That's how we're going to get anywhere in this playthrough. Whew. Oh my lord. I am so tired, guys. Oh man. I've been... So, the Jenny McCree portion of the stream was like two hours long. We're now an hour and a half into this challenge. And my mind's starting to go a little bit. We have saved, so that's good at least. I want to get a little bit further, though. Uh, right. We do have a lot of Molotovs. We now have offense, which is good. It's going to be tough still. Uh, we need to cook food. There is a fire somewhere around here, right? I don't think that counts as a fire. Fire around here? Isn't there somewhere, maybe? Uh, oh, thank you for the jerky. You don't count as a fire, do you? Isn't there a campfire near here? Am I being dumb? I might be being dumb. Oh yeah, everything's a vim here, isn't it? Are you a campfire? No, you're not. Maybe one by the door? I thought there might be a fire somewhere. Oh, yeah, we'll talk to Mariner. Mariner's quests are really good. We can get a lot of money from one of Mariner's quests, I think, as well. Something about tools? The Mariner. Uh huh. Sure. The town's lucky you're here. You blowing smoke up my. Right. I don't suppose. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh. Uh, reward. So be risking my Charisma. Free. The pay is what eh. the pay is. Yeah, there's a lot of opportunities to milk all the people for money in turn, well, haggle for like quest rewards, but if you haggle too far, unfortunately, uh, you risk not getting anything at all. Well, the original, uh, well, you risk only getting the original amount anyway. If I put all of my stuff in here, would it stay there? 
Hmm. Because, like, I, I don't really trust non-settlement places. Or well, non-settlement kind of uh, areas like this. Hmm. What can we do? Can we improve any of it? Oh, we can we can actually do a lot here. Okay, let's go for the torso. So, we can go to model B. So we can certainly do that. Um, hot rod? Sure. Sure, absolutely. And we can't do any of that. Uh, we can't do model B there because we've used it all. We can make it hot rod there. I don't know if paint gives you any kind of benefit apart from it just looks cool. Um, model, there you go. Bada bing, bada boom. Looking fabulous. Alright, cool. Oh, we should probably repair it. Sometimes it will count as stealing when you try to get it back. Really? Oh, that kind of sucks. Best way is to kill the guy that wants to buy the tools. 3,100 caps on him, then turn it. Really? Wow, I actually didn't know that. I did not know that at all. Right, I'll keep the junk on me for now until we get a settlement. Um, Alright, I'll keep the junk on me and we'll get to a settlement. I've never actually painted armor before. What do you reckon, guys? Nice shade of red? Kind of like it. If it's red, right. Okay, well, I won't risk it. Never look at I, I won't risk anything here. All right. Thank you for the follow. Omega Burger 99. All right, so. Do we have Molotovs active? We do, fantastic. Okay. Still looks best with full suit, but yeah. Yeah, missing a head and an arm and a left leg, but it's okay. Sure, copy Nuka Cola low suit co incoming. No one's al no one's alive at Nuka Cola. I've killed everybody. Holy crap! Anonymous tip. Oh god, Anon's at it again, guys. Oh man, Anonymous. Holy crap, dude. Pog champs. Ladies and gentlemen, Anonymous has donated forty pounds to your boy DJ. That's actually the second donation I got today. My boy Finn donated ten dollars earlier today, so um yeah. Anonymous, whoever you are, I have a I have an idea. I have a feeling I know who you are, Anonymous, so yeah, thank you for that. You are the nuts. Can we get some, uh, can we get a little bit of hype for, um, oh god. Can we get a little bit of hype for Anonymous, please? Hadouken! There you go. Did I not get experience with that? Wow. And thank you for the follow, Octo Gaming. Appreciate it. Man, that's so good. Thank you for that, man. That's amazing. Um, crystal armor, is that any good? That's overall armor, isn't it? It is pretty good, though. We'll take that. There you go. That's amazing. Thank you so much. I started the stream, and I said to myself, alright, it's going to be a nice, quiet stream. And there was, like, maybe five people in here. Shark was here, Giada was here, and... I forget the other person, because I'm a terrible streamer. But, um... No, oh God. I thought I saw an explosive. And I said to myself, it's going to be a nice, chilled stream. Nothing to worry about. Just play your game. <coughs> Jobs are good. I think that hurt. Um, but now, I've got two donations, a couple of follows. Amazing. Oh, God! Longfellow! Death from above! Come here! You guys are amazing. Like, seriously. I know a lot of streamers probably say this about their communities, but... Seriously, you guys are beautiful people, and I love every single last one of you. These explosives are doing nothing! Holy crap! What was I saying about explosives kind of filling the damage gap that I'm going to have? Oh god. How do I cancel an explosive? I hope that works. It did. Okay, good. Yeah, you guys are the nuts. Thank you so much. Especially to the person that donated. Alright, let's continue. I mean, I will find out who you are, donator. <laughs> but yeah, thank you. Alright. So Molotovs, they're not strong. That is something that 
Well, they're not strong here anyway. They're all right back home, but here they're not great. And that's something we will have to sort out. Update your skill, they do 200% more with skills. Oh yeah, absolutely, but we need to get levels in order to do that. Uh, we we want to cook as well. We need to get levels in order to do that, dude. We need to get Demo Expert 1 once we've leveled up, and then we need to get devil, uh, Demo Expert 2, which will give us the arc. Uh, that arc is going to be so important. Uh, let's see, what else can we make here? More rat meat, more rat meat. Yeah, we couldn't do this early on because we... I mean, it's we don't get much experience, uh, sure, but at level 1 it all adds up. And we didn't want to get to level 2 before we got here, so... Yeah, just me being super cautious. Gold for slurry. Hmm. Stop out your armor also, Mr. Forgetful. Oh. Yes, I am Mr. Forgetful. Absolutely. Uh, do I want to make this? Maybe I do. Oh, <gasps> maybe I do. It's not food. Absolutely, though. Uh, yeah. Holy crap. Um, swap out my armor. Yes, because we just picked up some more armor, right? Um, yeah, let's take a look at what we got. All right, back to work for me. All right, Mel. Have a wonderful night, my dear. Uh, thank you for dropping by. I love you. Have a great day at work. And please, 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 please don't pass out or anything. I know you've not had much sleep. But yeah, um, have a good night, my darling. One pound of useless invisibility. How long does it last? Was it 10 seconds? Mm, probably not great. All right, coastal armor, 21. All right. We could eventually shadow this lever armor, so we will keep it with us for now. But for now, we'll do well here. Uh, also, pro tip for DJ, there should be a full set of T51 power armor in the back of a truck on one of the roads. Alright, I'll keep an eye out for it, dude. Uh, oh god. <laughs> 10 seconds never helped me. Right. <sighs> okay, well... I mean, it's it's experience at the very least, so we'll take it. I mean, you never know. One of the sneak perks allows you to turn invisible for like a short amount of time. So, I don't know, maybe you pop some gold perennids and it kind of throws off pursuing enemies. I don't know, might be useful in that respect. I want to say it's along the northern parts of the island. Right, okay. Well, oh, ghouls. Ghouls, right? We're not going to be using power armor for the entire playthrough. It's just these early moments. So we probably won't get it. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Although, you never know with me. You right there, Longfellow? How you doing there, dude? You, um. You good? The trail. May as well check these as well. Folder. Yeah. There are ghouls around here, this area, wow. these kind of houses on the side. Right. Right, now I think there might be a wolf on the way? We can kill a wolf. Wolves die in one hit to Molotovs, definitely. So that feels pretty good. But, um, yeah, here we go. That's... Hadouken! Wait, did you not die? Oh, apparently they don't die. Okay. Wow. Things might be too strong for us. Oh god, there's still two over there. Hadouken! Oh god. We need demo expert. Oh god, we need demo expert. Oh, thank you, idiot savant. Are we good? No, we're not good! Oh god. Oh god. Now we're dead. Always grab folders. A folder's good? Oh wow, sorry, I forgot. Um, apologies. Alright, we're dead. We are so dead. What are our explosives like? Uh, one Molotov. We need to run. Wait, for this explosive run only, can you never melee in general? Nope. Which is why the close range is always going to be a nightmare. Alright. 
We need to get out of here. We need to run. We need to run. Yeah. Oh no. Bad X. Alright, just go. Just go. Just run, dude. Run. Confuse the AI. Confuse the AI by jumping over territory. Sneak plus explosive kills a pack of dogs. Absolutely. But we don't have sneak. Well, we do. Well, we can sneak. But, um, yeah. Cowardice is. Oh, there you go. I should do it. Nice. We just need to be very careful with, um, you know, kind of pushing too far. I actually uh, forgot how many dogs there were there, unfortunately. I'm going to be honest with you guys. These early enemies, I expected them to be slightly easier. <laughs> Molotovs will kill anything, like anything at all, in Boston in the early game. Like, dogs, small rats. Um, yeah, everything dies. In this, not much has died, sadly. Drop fragment man as you run for close quarters combat. Yeah, that is going to be the plan. Um, going to be the plan from then on it, I reckon. That's why we picked up the frag mines. It's just unfortunate that that one got a little too close to me. Got a little panicky and whatnot. Don't get stuck. What the hell? Ghoul? Meanwhile in Far Harbor, there's a ton of... Nope. There's just a ton of... Nope, there absolutely is. Yeah. And everything is just so strong. Oh, it's a feral ghoul Roma. Alright. I'm glad we brought Longfellow along. What was that sound? Uh, it's... I think... I think uh, Longfellow comments on it. It says it's something like a monster here in... Uh, in Far Harbor or something. Mentioning the wildlife. I don't know. But because I was running away, it obviously played because Longfellow got far enough and he didn't do the line because I was nowhere near him. Uh, we can kill that lady as well, can't we? Never heard that? I have, yeah. Um, we can. Oh, there's, oh god, there's so much to kill around here. We may have to resort to landmines here. We've only got one Molotov left. Hmm. Started taking things for granted. But we may just have to let him do it. This is going to be really difficult to get experience. Yeah, we may have to like sleep and just let the um, the inventories at the shops resp like re respawn, just so we can get more exp more uh, explosives. It's that's what we need to do. I think we need to grind explosives, guys. Yeah, this is not like this is not as easy as. Um, Melee only, like with McCracker Crumble. Alright, we want to avoid all of these if we can. Is he actually going to fight? There's a lot of gulpers down there. There's also a lot of Milex. Caution. Alright, no, we're looking good. Alright, no, we're looking fine right now. Alright, where's the crazy lady? There's a crazy lady somewhere around here. Crazy lady! Wait, what? Oh, danger! Oh god. Okay. Ah! Hey, that worked! I mean, I kind of broke myself, but that worked! Nice! Alright, now we can get Demo Expert. Alright, so we get an extra 25% more damage. Which, if we had that, we would have died. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Get a spray and pray, and all your explosive problems are solved. Indeed, Prochos. Unfortunately, this is a level 1 run, and we can't be level 1 until we reach Far Harbor. And it would be... I don't know, I, I find it tricky finding cricket in such a way that I, I'm able to avoid all of the experience that you get from discovering places and whatnot. It'd be too much of a hassle. Um, and plus, I'm kind of banning purchasable explosive legendaries just to make things really difficult for myself so yeah <sighs> yeah if we go power armor then that mind trick does help us because that would normally kill us that would normally just flat out kill me if I didn't have that power armor welcome to the stream by the way Prochoss hopefully you're well dude another red worshipping lunatic that's what Quite right. 
Okay. Um, shoot her already? Sure. Go ahead and shoot her then. She ain't worth wasting ammo on. Okay. Too bad I left my hunting knife at home. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy. You're, you're not going to attack us, are you? I suggest. Right. Okay. Sure. Uh, whatever you say. Whatever you say. Watch yourself outside of here. If you're done wasting now, time with can we kill her with explosives? Thank you for the follow, Chase. Drop the mine sooner, you can always recover them if needed. Yeah. It, that's a strat I'm going to have to um, get used to, I reckon, because this isn't a play style I've really done before, as you can probably tell. I want to kill her. She'll give me experience, right? Wow. Oh, she's crippled. That's good. Never by. Yeah. Uh All right. Now, a grenade didn't do enough damage for half. Deceiver. The annoying thing here is that she has one health. Ah. I'm hoping this works. There you go. <laughs> Everything is so strong here. Oh god. Okay. Uh we'll take everything. All right. Sorry George. Uh Longfellow, I call him George because he looks like George Clooney. Uh come on George. Yeah, okay. Sorry, just had to clean up a mess. You alright there, George? George? There you go. Alright, good. We're almost there. Almost to Arcadia. That wasn't a lot of experience. <laughs> Free explosives to kill one lady. We need to get to Demo Expert 2 ASAP. And I think you get that at 10, don't you? Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, 10. We need to get there ASAP. Um, we are currently level 4. Ugh. Be funny if the children are annoyed at you now. <laughs> Shh. Don't tell anybody. Alright, George, how you doing, dude? And we've arrived. Indeed, we have. He's already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with him, just go inside. Thankfully, Arcadia is nice and friendly. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Place so you have a follower with you here. at all times. This should be much, much better. We're not going to have a follower at all times, Shark. Sure this here is what I kind of like to call almost like a forced companion. It's not a companion in that we have him as a companion following us. He's a companion that kind of comes with the quest. Now, we probably could have come up here anyway without him, but the quest marker kind of pointed towards him. So in a way he's kind of like you know, Paladin Dance in that first quest that you do for dance where you pick up the, the thing. But the followers take your experience. That is true. That is a trade off. Um but yeah, he's not a companion per se. Not at the minute, because I can say no thanks. I can handle things from here. And he no won't follow me can. ever again. And I'm serious about in, 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 a, in a sense, he's leading us up here as part of the quest. Kind of like Deacon's first mission as well. Thank you for the follow, Greg. Or Greg, sorry. Greg. I mean, L that looks like LP Greg, but there's a cricketer called Tony Greg, and I think Greg's pronounced like that as well, so I really have no idea how to pronounce your name. But then again, you might not actually be here, so it might not actually be an issue. But either way, LP, thank you for the follow. Okay, uh, 412. You know what would be nice? Some idiot savant quest experience. That would be lovely. Also, ooh, one-off armor. That could have been useful. Right, what do you reckon we level, dudes? What do you reckon we level? Because in reality, in terms of offense, we've got the two that we need. I mean, well, Lone, Lone Wanderer isn't really offense, but it helps us in... It helps us with carrying stuff, like explosives, which is our offense.
demo expert we have. That's our offense. Do we go sneak? Maybe we go sneak. I mean, sneaking in power armor is hard, so maybe if we go sneak, we ditch our power armor. At least Deacon gives you a new shiny. Yeah, exactly. Good old Deacon. Um, what do we go for here? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I hate Ghoulish. Thank you for the follow, Jason Clapp. I hate Ghoulish. Ghoulish is just not good. Um, I don't like Rad Resistant either. I like Aqua Boy. Aqua Boy's good, especially for Far Harbor. I mean, I never pick uh, Aqua Boy before Jago says, you never pick Aqua Boy. But for Far Harbor, low, low level, pretty good for swimming around. I genuinely don't know what to go for. What do you reckon, guys? What would you go for? Level 5, explosives only, with these special stats, what would you go for? Aqua Boy, you think Aqua Boy's a waste? No damage while swimming? Aqua Boy can be quite useful if you're not using Power Armor, obviously, because if you take a look at the map, if you want to get to, say, if you want to go from, say, MS Azalea all the way to here, you don't have to travel here. You can just swim there. So, you know, it's actually quite useful in a way. Radex, sure. Um, that kind of makes up for it. Hazmat suit as well, in a way. But I would never have to worry about buying Radex or finding Radex. And I wouldn't have to worry about finding a hazmat suit either. It is viable. If you want, oh, if you want to kind of avoid the pain of um, you know Radex and stuff, so it's a consideration. But is it what I want now? So here's the considerations. Sneak is going to be quite useful, especially in the dark, especially if we get shadowed armor, which we may or may not need armor for. I don't know. Not armor for the number armor for making that shadowed armor. Um, life Giver. Life Giver is normally a bad idea, but at low level and the fact that we have 10 Endurance, it's actually a great idea. Because the thing about Life Giver, it's good at low level because plus 20 health is better than what you would get for putting it into Endurance. But as you go on through the game, Life Giver's plus 20 just means nothing. But as we have 10 Endurance already, it would actually just be a full-on bonus, and it would take us one step closer to getting that that health regen. It's not a bad idea. There's not many things that we need, really. Like, can we make a list? I mean, cat collect is always useful for making money. Money's going to be useful. Fortune finder, same difference. Oh, same difference, same thing. Bloody mess for extra damage. I mean, you just so us fail to two-hit a... Um, What's it called? Crazy Atom Lady. So maybe a bit of extra damage would be useful. It's only plus 5, but you saw how close we were to getting that 2-hit KO. Maybe that's going to be useful for us. <sighs> Toughness would be better than 20 HP. Do you reckon? I've never actually worked out what was better. 20 HP or plus 10 damage resistance. I've never really known. As we are staying with power armor for now, and heavier armor, we'll stay away from sneak. Man, this shouldn't be this hard. It really shouldn't be this difficult. So I have a bloody mess. Or a life giver. I think we're going to go bloody mess. So long ago, but level 3, free health regen. Hmm, just this helps you out in the long run. Yeah, I guess. My rule of thumb is that if you can't kill it, you're not going to get anywhere. And right now, we're struggling to kill. Plus 5% might not be much. But it's something. And it's the only damage that we get. Health, su health helps sooner uh, than later. I always went with toughness. Right, okay. Well, we're going to go with neither for now. We're going to rely on our power armor. And we're going to go damage. Might be a mistake, but 
I can't kill things right now, and that's an issue. If I can't kill things, then we're going to get nowhere. So, plus 5% damage slightly helps us. It, that, that plus 5% would turn that lady's 3-hit KO into a 2-hit KO, which is what we want, really, at the very least. Because we're struggling to kill things already. So, damage. That's what we need. More damage. We will toughen ourselves up. Uh, but for now, damage. That's what we need. Lots of it. Right. You How you doing, big, big dude? First this How you doing? Mountain, you've entered a place mm -hmm. We need to try and find ways I of getting cheap experience. We need to get to Longfellow's cabin. We need to build some things. So that's a good way of getting cheap experience. We do have a bit of junk on us. Um, she is a synth. And so we can create a few things. Things like beds and uh, water pumps and whatnot. I want you to one more. Yeah, 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 Dima. Are you? It's funny, really. I have a Swedish friend called Dima, and I always ask her if she's a synth. She's never played Fallout, so she gets very confused, as you'd imagine. Uh, yes, I am a synth. In the back of my mind, what luck did you had? I went five luck. Five luck simply for idiot savant. <laughs> I'm addicted to idiot savant. Uh, if that's what you mean, Longyear. I, I don't know if that's what you meant by your question. If that's what you meant, then sure. You uh -huh. Ricochet would be really good on this. Uh, it doesn't It doesn't proc enough, Longyear, in my opinion. We had it on Jenny McCree, and sure, she was a low HP character, but it didn't proc enough. In a, in a 72, 73 level playthrough, it proc twice. And in both situations, I wasn't in that much danger. So, That's I don't think it's worth it now. in my, well, I, yeah, in my opinion, else? it's just not worth it. So, everyone here in a game, yeah. Uh, yeah. right, I should be paying I attention here. Oh, God, pay attention, so DJ. That's good. DJ. Now. Uh, no, no. I should get going. Of course. Right, okay. Complete that one. Touch Kasumi Nakano downstairs. Let's go get that. Uh, Ricochet is a great idea for a perk. Don't get me wrong. I do absolutely love the idea of Ricochet, and um, I don't know, it adds it adds a comical edge, kind of like Bloody Mess in a way. Bloody Mess is useful damage-wise, which is why it's a pretty okay perk. 5% is not much, but it's better than nothing, but it adds that kind of comedy value because it adds that bloody well, mess, explosive kind of effect. With Ricochet, it's the same. It's kind of funny killing someone who just shot you, deflecting a bullet, but unfortunately, it doesn't proc enough, so in my opinion, not worth it. Long explanations are long, by the way. Just so you know. <laughs> because you're a simp! Because you're not really their daughter. You're a simp. I need to drink more water. My throat is killing me. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been I have no idea. Time. Your real daughter is dead. Did we ever find out whether she was a simp or not? I always forget. Um, you're not a replacement. You haven't replaced anyone. Look, I get it. Oh, they hired you to bring These early charismas home. would be nice. I can't. I can't remember if I've still got that suit, but if something's going, it would be helpful in times like this. I don't well, I mean, obviously, I can't change it to a suit when I've got power armor on. I well, I mean, I can. I can get out the power armor, put the suit on, but I don't want to do it. She's not a synth. Yeah? All right. Google says Kasumi is a meat popsicle. Right. Okay, cool. Yeah, a lot of people have probably told me, but I keep forgetting. Thank you for telling me. Bob Ross, thank you for the follow. Well, there is a simple solution to that. What? Kill her and find out? <laughs> sure. I mean, like, I'll help if I can. I know. Like, I've been working on theoretically I speaking. I keep seeing Dima, oh, and and what is what is the end of Far Harbor? Then they come out later, looking like they've been arguing. I assume that reference was lost. It was. All references are lost on me, dude. But nice to see you, ZX. We are sent here it's been locked up. to find I'm Kasumi. If we find her and then kill her. And then go home. Maybe that is technically enough to say that that's the end of Far Harbor, you know? We're only here to see Kasumi, you know? If we kill her, then go home and tell her parents that she's dead, 
job done. I'm not going to do that. I won't do that. But, um, yeah, I thought that would be pretty funny if we did. Fifth Element. I watched Fifth Element as a child, and I didn't understand any of it. You don't get the chest from Daddy, then. Yeah, and I do want Daddy's chest. That sounded weird. <laughs> anyway, I need a bed. You have a bed, but I think there's one upstairs as well, so we'll go upstairs and use those. Also, running in power armor is not a great idea, unless you're in danger, of course. Uses up a lot of that sweet, sweet energy. Now, I plan on making this uh, playthrough last for a while. We might not finish the playthrough by the time we get to December, but... Um, We'll try and make it last the streams that we have available to us. <sighs> right, okay. Uh, can we sleep whilst encumbered? Yeah, we can. Nice. And it is five hours for a mattress? You think? <laughs> yeah. Capper indeed, dude. Capper indeed. Alright, looking good. Alright, we'll hop back into here because we are slightly overweight. Alright, good. Yeah, we need to sort out some decent armor for when we don't have this power armor. We do need to store it, really. Hmm, where is Longfellows? Longfellows is here. Ooh, wait, is... Is there a path to Longfellows, or do you have to go in some water? It looks like there's a path here. Is that... Can I, can I get across here? Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get to Longfellows. In fact, do I... Hmm, you know what, I was going to say we're going to get to Longfellows and then we're going to call it a stream, but to be honest with you, all we're going to do there is rest. We've got beds here, we've just rested, we've just saved, so... There's kind of a natural bridge? Alright, okay. Alright, if that's the case, then I think I'm actually going to call it a night, because we've just hit four hours and I'm getting pretty tired. Um, and before anyone does the whole uptime thing, it will only say two hours, but I did do two hours of Fallout 4 before with my Jenny McCree account player thing, so yeah, it's been a four-hour stream, so Whew, I've been kind of, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> um, only enough water to come up to your ankles. All right, good. All right, we'll go there next time then. Uh, comment, thank you for the, for the uh, follow. If you brought Kate, give your power armor to her, they don't waste power cores. Uh, that is true. But again, getting to Kate would be problematic because I would gain too much experience from killing the raiders at the combat zone. And uh, I have to be level 1 by the time I reach Far Harbor, so I couldn't do that unfortunately. But I could give it to uh, Longfellow, but I don't plan on using companions too much anyway. I'm not banning companions, I'm not banning power armor, obviously, but I want to get to a point where I'm using neither. So, um, it was the same in, nu in the Nuka World Level 1 run. I, have to, I had to use power armor for the gauntlet. I just had to, so yeah. What kind of achievement is that? What? Getting Kate? Wait, what? I will go to bed as well. Alright. Not my bed, long gear, Unless you want to. But I'd rather you didn't. Yeah, um, my bad, not DJ's, <laughs> way ahead of you, dude. <laughs> but, um, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to end the stream there. So tonight, we completed Jenny McCree's run. We will not be seeing any more from her. We're not going to be doing Far Harbor with our high look agility pistol only build. So hopefully you have enjoyed that. That's been a long playthrough, four days worth of gameplay along with about 70 levels so we're done with that it was a fun challenge it was good trying to build that crit engine for pistols only and i feel like we did okay in the end it was tough at the start but we got there in the end and now we have a small project here can we do well at level one or starting level one anyway far harbor explosives only currently we haven't died i don't think correct me if i'm wrong and we are looking for power. We need attack. We need offense. So that's what we're going to be doing next time. We're trying to get some free experience, get some free levels, get to Demo Expert 2. Once we get to Demo Expert 2, everything should be great. Thank you for all the subs, not the subs, the uh, donations tonight. Fantastic. Thank you. You were the one 
that started it. And then Anonymous, thank you for that donation as well. You guys are great. Thank you for the follows as well. And thank you for all the chat. Like, seriously, I don't think anyone was going to come to this stream. It was only in, like, the third hour you guys kicked in. So thank you for that. Really do appreciate it. Um, I will be back Monday with Skyrim. So, uh, yeah, have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you all, hopefully, for Skyrim. But if not, I will see you all next time. Have a good night. Farewell, everybody. Farewell. Farewell.